You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Cub using some good angles with his footwork there. And it looks nice and fluid. It looks like he's been practicing that a lot. He doesn't want to stand right in front of uh, Mackins. I give a little speed advantage to Mackins. And uh, I think Cub knows that. That's why he's trying to hit those angles on him. Cub Swanson with the experience advantage. This will be his 19th professional fight. For Semizer, this will be his 10th professional fight. Ah, uh, to that low kick a little too close to Cub and, uh, well, to Mackins and makes for easy takedown. Yeah, Cub was a little too close to Mackins, launched that low kick and it just, uh, too easy to pass up. But Mackins didn't want anything to do with that ground game. Lets him up and the punches fly. Left high kick from Cub, teeth to the knee. With a grand strike, Cub does not look to be shaken up and they continue. Cub did a nice thing there, right? When he goes, you all right, and he nods his head. He didn't even wait for the referee to say fight. He just launched that right hand to Mackin. So, not illegal, but, you know, some could call it dirty. I call it brilliant. Cub Swanson, Mackin Semizer, round number one. Three and a half minutes to go. We have five-minute rounds. Swanson now up against the cage as Mackin Semizer tries to find an angle. He's got that good body lock. It looks like he's trying to take him down. Oh, gives it up there. Both guys trying to establish dominance in the clinch. Mackin's pulling that underhook up so Cub can't really attack his legs and go for a takedown that way. Boy, those knees, you fire those There's a head throw. And a nice takedown for Cub Swanson who comes out with a combination and a leg kick. Nice. In transition, hit him with that beautiful head throw, and on the way up, like a couple punches and a good high kick. Wow, nice combinations coming from Cub Swanson. Yeah, Great head movement. He's back settling. And Semizer comes back. You could see Cub gaining confidence, kind of settling into his rhythm here. Ooh, both, both fighters exchanging punches. Yeah, you could tell Cub feeling a little more confident now. He's got that head movement going, he's letting his hands go. But sometimes when you get more confident, you tend to drop your hands. Oh, this fight is getting good. Oh, Cub Swanson says Ole. Oh, Mackins attacking the neck. Cub just turns his chin to the left. Does a great job of not panicking. Mackins answers with a knee. Vicious. I'll tell you what, it, this is a beautiful chess match. Each fighter coming with some great stuff. Cub catches the kick, holds Mackins up momentarily. Swanson fires an uppercut and just misses. Yeah, this is beautiful. Just how the fight's escalating. You know, they keep, each guy keeps landing shots and the other guy answers with two. Now Mackins from the body lock gets that takedown. And you wonder if this is him just trying to kind of rest. And I mean, they exchange some good strikes there, some flying knees. You saw a little everything. This would be a good chance just to kind of regroup for Mackins. You saw before when he got that takedown, he let Cub right up. This time, looks like he's going to squeeze, hold him down a little, look for the pass, look to score some points here. If he finishes a round on top, he'll probably win the round. And I'm surprised Mackins isn't posturing up here. I mean, he's got Cub dead on his back. Well, Cub's got that butterfly hook in. Just the up kicks. Nice. So he'll just fire him away and gets up. Back Good to the feet. Cub. Yeah, Cub, you, you touched on earlier, Steph. Cub feels like you can see the confidence. Yeah, Under he, a minute to go. Body shots coming from Mackins. Crushing shots to the body. And these guys are going at it. Cub Swanson in the purple trunks, Mack and Semizer in the red trunks. Coming up on under 30 seconds to go here in round number one in the featherweight division. Well, as far as the striking goes, it's been a pretty close round, but uh, Mackins did get those two takedowns, and that's pretty much the biggest difference so far. Oh, another nice high kick there. Cubs doing that well. He throws punches. His head gets nice and low, and then he brings the kick upstairs. How about this floor to end round number one? Oh, another right hand. And an uppercut from Cubs Swanson to wrap up the action.
action. Yeah, I don't even know where to start. This whole round was pretty much a highlight. There, there was Cub throwing that low kick from a little too close, gave up an easy takedown, but Mackins let him up right off that. There it is on the way up, and fouls with the left high kick. <laughs> oh, it's like a Bruce Lee flying sidekick there. Need a freeze frame picture of that. Oh, nice left hook there from, from Cub. Yeah, these guys went at it this round. Cub did that well. He, he, he puts his head down, he throws the hook up top, oh. fires it straight, and when his head lows too, he's really good at throwing high kicks, you know? When you see the guy's head low throwing body punches, you know, you don't worry about the head kick, and Cub's doing a great job of that. Round number two underway here. Cub Swanson in the purple trunks. Mack and Semizer in the red trunks. Both fighters come out, firing off an inside kick, then it's back to the flurry. Cub Swanson just showing his range there, bringing the knee all the way up to the side of the head of Mack and Semizer. Now he's concerned about those knees from Semizer, trying to control him. Yeah, it made him think about it. It wasn't the hardest knee, but you know, when it goes right under your nose, that makes you think, uh oh, I better be careful here. All right, looking back at round number one, who do you give the edge oh, to? Oh man, it's tough. I, I mean, to me, Cub got the better of the exchanges. He landed the harder shots, but Mackin's got those two takedowns. I'd probably give it to Cub, but I bet these judges give it to Mackin. Very evenly matched fight here, Steph. You bring up a good point. Cub comes in, mounts a little offense, and Semizer comes over that time with a big right hand. And a good counter hook from Cub. This guy's not afraid to go toe to toe. Look at this. Close quarters and just firing it off. See, that's what a fight is. It's constantly trying to establish dominance, and that's what makes this fight beautiful. So when one guy starts to establish that dominance, the other guy goes, uh oh, you ain't having that, and hits him back twice more. Cub with a double leg. That was, that was good timing on that shot, but just couldn't finish. Really mixing it up well with the punches, going underneath for that takedown. And this is where Mackins had some success, uh, being able to take Cub down from the clinch, getting that body lock on. Both fighters going into regroup mode as we go under three minutes here in round number two. This one's scheduled for three. Cubs Swanson up against the cage in the purple trunks. Mack and Semizer trying to find a way to get this clinch and make it work. Possibly setting up for another judo toss. Yeah, he's going for those double underhooks, gave it up. Now they're going to throw down a little more, which is finally missed. Oh, good counter! That hurt Cub! See his knee wobble a little. That was. Beautiful nice, nice scouting there, knowing that Cub was going to duck his head after firing that shot, and then he dumped Semizer. Yeah, nice. Uh, followed his right hand with the double leg. You can tell Cub's been working on not just his wrestling, but his uh, throwing his punches, then using his punches to set up the takedown. But man, earlier, a big overhand right for Cub, but what timing by Mackins. Launched that right knee, uh, and that was probably the best shot of the fight. He saw the knees of Cub buckle. But uh, Cub, to Cub's credit, he recovered pretty fast. Oh! Both fighters having some issues with the foot. Oh, the spinning back fist coming from Cub Swanson. And he's smiling now. He's gaining more confidence. Lands a left hook followed by a knee. Wow, big upper Crushing call. body shot. And the right hand. Back down on the legs. Great action here in the featherweight division. Cub Swanson, Mack and Simmons are putting on a show here in Las Vegas. Each fighter just answering the other step, and it's amazing. It's a good head movement there by Cub. Slip three punches, and Cub's like dipping his head and throwing those wild overhands, and every now and then he shoots a straight right out. It lands perfectly. You know, this, wow, this goes into the third round and may come down to conditioning. Both these guys are putting a ton of energy in this fight. What a back and forth battle. Looks like Mackins, his mouth's open. He's still firing strikes, though. Wow, Cub Swanson coming forward, lunging with a left, then a right. And 
he has found a home for the high kicks today. I mean, he's really letting them go, following them up with punches beautifully. This is the best I think I've seen Cub Swanson. Not to take anything away from Mackens, he's finding a home yeah, for he himself. Is. Nice combinations there. Mackens now teeing off. Cub Swanson says that's enough, goes for the takedown. Mackens immediately goes to the closed guard. Yay, Cub Mackens just letting his hands go, mounting some offense. He's landing that right hand, and he got too aggressive. Cubs drops underneath the punches, scores a takedown, probably seals him this round. Under 10 seconds to go here in round number two. What a fight. That's it, we'll see a third and final round in the featherweight division. All right, Stefan, let's go back and look at the action from round number two, and we can just roll the whole thing as is. Yeah, might as well play the whole round. There's a big overhand right, followed by a left hook from Mackens. And there's oh. that beautiful counter knee. That right hand landed, too, and Mackens still had the sense to fire up that counter knee, and that's lucky it did not come out. Saw buckle his knees a little bit. There he is, fakes the kick, boom, oh. spinning back kick. Landed. And then he's having a lot of success with this, throwing hard hook punches and following upstairs with a kick. And geez, what striking by Cub Swanson in this fight. Definitely on top of this game. Bring it back! Third and final round Cub Swanson and Mackin Semizer. And if it's hitting like the first two, we are in for a treat. Man, both these guys are going to be really sore tomorrow. Wow. Oh, both guys throw kicks. Cub ends up on the bottom, and Mackin's trying to just beat him like a drum now. Bad position for Cub Swanson as Mackin Semizer uses the cage and his body to position his opponent where he wants it. Big knee coming in there. Cub gets right back up, eats a knee for it in the process, but that's a good trade off. He's back on his feet. Let's the takedown go in right hand, followed by that left high kick. And Cub doing a great job of the takedown. Both fighters answering with offense. An amazing show, not going into a defensive posture where they're just going to take the beating for a while. They're just answering back. And just great job by Cub, because, you know, Mackens gets hits with shots, and he's going to want to answer back. And every time he gets too aggressive, Cub drops on that same takedown, makes him pay. See, good hips by Mackens getting back to his feet. He knows he's going to lose the fight on bottom. He's got to get something going here. Very close fight. Third round, toe to toe. What action. Now you can absolutely make a case for both fighters saying that Mackin Sellizer possibly edged out round number one. Cub Swanson yep, yep. getting round two. So it now comes down to this the final three and a half minutes in the featherweight division. Yeah, third round, dead even. Could be anyone's fight. Cub Swanson in the purple trunks on the left. Mackin Sellizer in the red trunks on your right. Oh, catch that leg. It's an easy takedown off Cub. Yeah, big, big takedown. Cub's got to get back up here. Looks like he's fishing for that yeah, game. Yeah. He actually, Mackin Simmons, her corner, called it out. Watch your head, and immediately Cub Swanson goes. Oh, good counter hook there. And Mackins walks right through it. That was, a, I mean, the timing on that punch is beautiful. He's got a tough chin. That kid is taking some he shots does. tonight. Taking high kicks, punches, another right hand there. Semizer continues to come forward. Cub Swanson attacking multi-levels. <laughs> See, Cub does a good job dropping his head, throwing those hooks, throwing those high kicks. But when he drops ahead, he's open for knees, and Mackins is figuring that out now. Another hard left hook, and Mackins, man, what a chin. Halfway through, that round same takedown. Semizer closes guard. Cub Swanson, wow, he was staying down close to the chest. And immediately, look at the strength in the legs of Mack and Semizer just tossing Cub Swanson off it. Cub got airborne on that and immediately just starts firing punches, going after that same takedown. He's had all that success with this fight. And again, back in on those legs. It looks like he's getting. Oh, there's. Oh. 
Cub now just teeing off. Punishing punches by Cub Swanson. Step, I don't know about you, but we could be seeing fight of the night right here. Oh, yeah, for sure. An no, impressive no. performance by both fighters. Now it's Simmons are attacking, going for the takedown. Cub showing his athletic ability on one foot. Well, Mackin's on the back. He's hopping back. Swanson gives up the back. Now he'll cover the head. Giving up his back. Again, for the second time in this round. Seven's are happy just to tee off on the ring. Come on. You get to that chin next time. Called knows he's got to get back up. This is too close of a fight time here. Final minute of this bout in the featherweight division between Cub Swanson and Mackin Semizar. Shows you how in MMA one mistake will make the difference. Looks like Cub was in control this time. Mackins is able to get a little duck under, get on his back, and now he's stealing the round. Cub now just trying to lock up the fist of Mackin Semizar. He's got the chin protected. Mackin's saying, I'll just sit here and just tee off. Cub takes a look up at the jumbo board to see that it's under 36 seconds to go. But he's got to mount some offense here, Stefan. Yeah, he does. Mackins is stealing this fight away. Final 20 seconds. Mackin just beating him down like Donkey Kong. Final 10 seconds. Cub Swanson trying to rally. Cubs back to his feet. Mackin's landing big shots. Now they're just swinging for the fences. Holy cow! That is it! What a fight! Absolute classic bout! <laughs> Win, lose, or draw, Stefan, that was an unbelievable performance from both fighters. Cut did exactly what he had to do. Ten seconds left, he got up and just let his hands go. Was it too little too late or had he already done enough? Let's go back and look at this again. This was about 30 seconds left in the fight. Unbelievable. What action. Just teeing off. No regard for defense. Both guys just in the pocket swinging for the fences. What a fight. And mutual respect at the end of the bout. Cub Swanson and Mackin Simmons are absolutely putting on a show. That's the best hey. I've ever seen you at. Hey, you look fucking good. Hey, championship performance today, man. Wow. That you wanted incredible. it and you took it. That was incredible. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, I was about to give that third round to Mackins, and now, man, now I don't even know. What a fight. Well, that's going to be a tough one for anyone else that fights yeah, tonight in Las that's Vegas to beat know, for fight of the night. Even if you take the last. 30 seconds. I mean, that was unbelievable. We see more action in the last 30 seconds than we've seen some fights in a whole round. Right now, we set it inside the cage. That is where Joe Martinez has the official decision. And now, fight fans, after three exciting rounds, we go to the scorecards one more time. Las Vegas, put your hands together for the war in the cage between these two young men. And here are the judges' scoring totals. Judge Patricia Morse Jarman has it 29 28. Swanson. Yeah! Judge Dave Hagen scores it 29 28. Simmerzer. Yeah! And Judge Junichiro Camijo scores it 29 to 28 for your winner by split decision. So Cub Swanson gets the split decision victory, runs his record 